Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria. And guys, today we're diving into some ColourPop. We have their new Pretty Fresh collection. I did pick up everything that they had, which was a primer set kit, which has the new sponge primer spray, and of course, the tinted moisturizer right here. Now, this is fairly new for them. They've come out with like, I don't know, 12 collections since this one launched like two weeks ago. But I'm going to dive in nonetheless, and from what I can see on their website, not all of it has restocked. It looks like the primer is out of stock, the bundle right here is out of stock and actually it looks like everything else is in stock so just the set which I picked up here which is $25 and then the primer by itself which retails for $12 those are both out of stock um, just to go over the other prices as well it looks like the spray individually is $12 the tinted moisturizer is 14 and then the sponge individually is 7 now I also did go ahead and pick up two sponges obviously one came in the kit and then I purchased one separately because I wanted to have a nice side-by-side -side comparison of what they look like and this little guy does get substantially larger. I would say it about doubles in size, if not maybe a little bit more than doubles. Um, if you like using a dry sponge, this feels so nice. It has almost like a memory foam kind of texture to it. And when it's wet and maintains that same type of texture, it's just a lot more airy feeling. It's a lot more squishy. So let's go ahead and start off here with some products. I'm actually going to still do my Tatcha on one half of my face. You guys know anytime I play around with anything, even foundation-esque as a control variable, I always go in with just a little bit of my Tatcha Silk Canvas just to see how it reacts with what I normally prime with. Now on the other side, let's go ahead and start playing around with their Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. And it says this is a lightweight hydrating primer that refreshes and preps skin to create a smooth canvas for makeup. All right. Okay, so when you pump it out of the bottle, it has almost like a light tangerine color to it, but it looks like it just absorbs into the skin. It has a nice kind of light coconut scent to it but nothing overbearing. It almost gives me like those beachy kind of coconut vibes. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that here and I'm going to primarily rub that over the cheek area and then spread the leftover up toward the nose. And that's just because I do get oily on my T-zone, but my cheeks usually like to have a little bit of something more hydrating on them lately. That actually feels really interesting because you can feel that it kind of like does soak and settle into your skin, but it leaves like a nice, almost like moisturizing kind of barrier on the skin. Almost like if you were to put on like a serum kind of product primer kind of like that like it went in it really did infuse with my skin and soak in but it still left me feeling nice and topically hydrated as well that's really nice okay and it smells good. So guys, moving on, obviously we're gonna dive next into the moisturizer, but can we just talk about this packaging? I don't know what it is about it. It is so aesthetically pleasing for me. I don't know if it's like a minimalistic look. It's just the design, the color, everything about this I just love so much. I love that this primer comes in a little pump situation. My only issue is when it comes to the tinted moisturizer here, again, love the packaging, I love the design of it. I just don't know how I feel with a squeezy tube with a pump. Like I kind of feel like they don't necessarily go together because for me personally, and I know a lot of other people feel the same way. When you have a squeezy tube like this, it's best to just put it as a squeezy tube and not as a pump. Otherwise, you can have a difficult time getting all the product out, but that's just my opinion. Now, let's go ahead here and swatch this little guy. Actually, hey, that's like not a bad color at all. I think I can pull this off. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we have a couple of different ways we're going to look at this. First things first, so I want to read a little bit off of the website. Um, it says here, that you can show more skin with this hydrating tinted moisturizer. It has a skin perfecting lightweight coverage for fresh, healthy looking skin. So light coverage with hyaluronic acid. And it looks like it currently has two reviews, giving it five out of five stars. And it looks like it comes in 24 shades and the shade range for those 24 shades does look really nice. Also, it's important to keep in mind when we're dealing with a tinted moisturizer, there is a lot more room in a shade range because it really does kind of blend in with your skin. It's not a full coverage type situation. So yes, you do have to have like different shades obviously to blend in with every skin tone but you don't have to have quite as many options because it's not nearly as full coverage but what I want to do first here I have a couple of ways I want to try and apply this I'm gonna take a little bit on my hand here where's my mirror hello I can't see hello huh but the first thing I'm gonna do here is take this little bit on my hand and I want to try just rubbing it in huh. okay so obviously like the color of it that's not gonna be an issue it's gonna blend in just fine um what I am noticing though is I don't know that I like it applied with my hand. I feel like it's not doing anything. Um, not that I really, again, expected too much. Like, I think if you have perfect skin, skin tints are obviously the way to go. Um, I do like the way it feels 
as I'm applying it, it feels a little bit heavy, which is an interesting texture I did not expect. It almost feels a little bit um, thick on my skin, like there is some sort of an oil in it or something that makes it a little thicker. But next up, I have a couple of different ways that I want to try, and I think for the first one, I'll just build on top of that. And I'm going to grab their sponge, which because this is a like nice airy kind of sponge, I feel like this is going to absorb a fair amount of product, but I still want to test it out and just kind of see how it applies. Yeah, it doesn't really do much um, adding it with this sponge, but I do feel like I love this sponge. Like, oh my word. Yes, it absorbed a ton of product like right off the bat. It literally absorbed it down to like here just instantly. Um, so arguably it's probably sucking up some of my coverage. Whoops. So with that, we're going to try option number two, and that is my Juno & Co sponge. And I thought if we were going to find a sponge that might add a little bit of coverage, this would be it. Just layering it up a little bit over like my redness and my acne, I definitely like the way that it's covering with this sponge better. I feel like on the this side where I applied it just basically with my hand, um, I feel like I had a very, very sheer, like Florence by Mills, if you missed that video, I'll link it up here. That level coverage is what we're seeing over here versus on this side, I'm actually getting, I would almost say sheer to light buildable. So I'm getting a little bit more with this. I definitely like the shade I picked. I feel like this is probably the perfect color for me. The neutral undertone isn't too overwhelming and the shade of it blends in perfectly and doesn't make me look any whiter, but it also doesn't make me look substantially deeper either. It's like the perfect amount. All right, so I went ahead and I moved you guys in because I really want you to get to see a couple of the areas on my face that are giving me a little bit of an issue. But before I get there, let's go ahead and talk coverage. So as you can tell, I do have cystic acne and a lot of the acne itself is still poking through but a lot of the underlying redness on both of my cheeks is a little bit covered which is nice I feel like if you can at least even that part of your skin out you can have a little bit better go at having like a nice lighter kind of happier coverage day but the other issue that I keep having is actually on my nose and I don't think it's something you can really see but on the sides of my nose it's just given me all kinds of trouble if for whatever reason it just doesn't want to like sink or settle into my pores on either side and I've went in and like literally hand pressed it into my pores and it's still for whatever reason just won't settle down but the rest of my skin and my face looks nice it looks smooth I'm getting like that nice kind of light dewy luminosity you can see it right through here and I don't have any issues with it but I just wanted you guys to see up close this is kind of what we're working with as far as everything goes all right so now I went ahead obviously and I moved you guys back out and I'm going to play around with this a little bit more and I'm gonna try and get myself just a little coverage over my cystic acne just because I know kind of what's coming down the pike for me today and I want to be able to give this a fair shot, but at the same time, you know, get me kind of what I need out of it. So I'm going to grab this, and this is my Clarence Instant Concealer, and I have this in shade 01. So this concealer gives me, I would say, like medium-ish coverage. I just went ahead and I added a little bit over here, um, and I think that's kind of perfect when I'm looking for something to pair with a foundation like this or a tinted moisturizer like this, because what it'll do is it will give me the coverage that I need, which is just a little bit more, but I can also also kind of shear it out and really stretch a little bit along my entire jawline and again it'll just help me give this a little bit more of a fair wear test and also make it not be so um, aggressive in like my more acne driven areas and I'm more so just kind of telling you guys where I'm putting it so that way when we do our check-in and whatnot we all kind of know where the tinted moisturizer began and where it stopped because um, obviously I don't want to paint this as something that has more coverage than it does but again I want to make it just as fair as possible so I'm just going in and I'm layering this up a little bit and I'm also going in and I'm adding just a tiny amount of it under my eyes just so that way we can help uh, cancel out that discoloration as well and guys I am grabbing a touch and I mean a tiny little touch of the Benefit Boing concealer and this I actually did do a full review on this is their cakeless concealer I'll link it up here it was a full comparison and review between this and the Tarte Shape Tape I'm grabbing just the tiniest amount of this little concealer just to brighten up some areas on my skin and then I'm also gonna kind of gently press it into the nose in the hopes that I can kind of fix whatever we have going on there but it'll just brighten up the under eye a touch more there we go 
just a little bit. I know a lot of you guys that would probably be more so inclined to pick up this tinted moisturizer would probably have more like normal to dry skin, I would say. Um, I want to just kind of check in on it before I powder because obviously I do have to powder. Um, and it's definitely, wow, it is very tacky on the skin and I'm getting a fair amount of transfer. So if you are going to have to blend anything on the surface of this, you might have to lightly set at least the perimeters or wherever you're going to bronze or whatever. Now, everybody that does a tinted moisturizer routine does it a little bit differently and I'm going to do it, you know, kind of how I would do it. So I'm going to grab a beautiful tinted blush. This is again from Florence by Mills and it's in the shade Real Ray and I am going to grab a little bit of it here on my little ColourPop sponge and I am going to, like it looks a lot more aggressive on the sponge than it is in real life. And I am just going to lightly kind of flush my cheek with this. Now from here, I am going to go ahead and powder. And I'm going to do that even a little bit differently. And I'm going to grab my JSC powder. And this is in the shade Beige. And I'm going to use this to set my face for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, it has a little bit of a darker tint to it than I would normally use with a foundation. But I think it'll complement this face very nicely given the color. And um, it'll add a little bit of like a color tint on top of a tint, so to speak. Obviously, if you don't have the JSC powder and you're looking for something with a similar consistency. Um, I've said this a thousand times. The Rihanna one has a very similar, the one from Fenty Beauty. Um, the one from Wet n Wild, their, what is that? Their Photo Focus powder, this stuff right here, also has a very similar consistency. It's very, very thin, very powdery. And that's kind of what I'm looking for to match this because it's not going to go in and really aggressively set it, but it's also going to go in and give me just enough set that I can kind of move on with the rest of my face. So I'm going to go ahead now and kind of set the little Hulk wrinkle up here. Here. And you can see that in those areas, obviously I have bake under my eyes, but you can kind of see like on the forehead and on the chin, it gave me just a little bit of coverage, a little bit of color. And after I lightly dust it over my entire face, I think it'll give me a nice like kind of light balance on the skin. And now from here, I am going to take my Morphe JH01 and I am going to very, very lightly set the rest of my face with powder. All right, guys, so this is where we're at right now. Again, you can see that I managed to keep it at a nice light coverage. Um, I did want to build it up a little bit from sheer just to see if it was possible because obviously with a product like this, sheer is basically what you're getting. Um, but I really wanted to see if I could just thrust it into that light coverage uh, market, and I think I did. I think we're looking pretty good. We have a little bit of flush to the cheek poking through. We have our little bit of acne poking through, but for the most part, the overall redness is good and set down. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go from here. I'm going to lightly add some other face products just to kind of finish everything out. And I'll stop back on, tell you guys how everything is going. We're going to spray our face together and do all of that. Uh, so hang tight and I'll be right back. And all right, beautiful people, I am back. I have the rest of my makeup on and I'm ready to dive into this spray right here. This is, of course, their Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. And on their website, it says that this is a micro fine refreshing setting mist that hydrates skin and, of course, also has hyaluronic acid in it. Now let's go ahead here real quick and give it a little spray. Oh, that is nice. You guys hear that? Listen. Oh, that is so micro fine. And the mist is amazing. Oh, that is so satisfying. Mist on point. Spray, fantastic. Let's do this. Okay. Mm. First of all, I could do that for days. Second of all, that feels so nice and light on my skin. Wow. Oh my God. Only bad thing is like, I swear to God, I can taste it. Like, I ate, like, at least a cup of it, and I don't even know how it got on my tongue, but, like, it's there. <laughs> so now at this point, obviously I have went ahead and zoomed you guys all the way out so we can kind of take a look at the face from this distance. I feel like on camera it looks absolutely perfect. Like my skin looks really nice and light and healthy. And on camera again it looks just really nice in that sense. But I did go ahead and take an up close, which I'm going to go ahead and throw in here for you guys right now so you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like um, actually on the skin as far as texture as well as coverage. So the first thing you're obviously going to notice is that you can still see my acne poking through on my jaw on both sides, a little on my chin and that was very much so intentional. You guys know if I'm playing around with a tinted moisturizer, I really want to use it in that sense and really see kind of what I can get, but also from there kind of take it and evolve it to the next level and have it be something to where I did go ahead and I added other elements to my skin to really polish it off, but I don't need it to be like a full on medium or full coverage kind of cake face moment. As far as the way that everything is settling into my skin, I think it's working pretty nicely. I do feel like I have a little bit of cakey 
sticky and like texture emphasizing around my nose that really hasn't changed from the moment I applied it to now it stayed about the same um the rest of my face like over my texture looks okay I do feel like it looks a little bit better right here with the Tatcha Silk Canvas so if I have to give any sort of a recommendation at least for my skin I would say that I would probably need like a layer of my Tatcha Silk Canvas especially over this region and then maybe their hyaluronic um primer I could use over the rest of my face just to give me that hydration but for right now what I'm going to do is actually run off of camera I have a ton of stuff to get done and I'm gonna give this a little wear test so I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that and I will be back on to give you a very very brief run through and thoughts and opinions on how this is wearing uh because this video is already getting very long so hang tight and I will be right back and all right beautiful people it is officially the end of the day and I'm here to give you my final thoughts um guys I'm gonna start off by saying I am insanely impressed with how this has worn throughout the day I am gonna go ahead and throw up the up close here in a second but you guys need to know I have been wearing all of this makeup on my face for about 12 hours at this point 12 hours that is just insane to me I ended up getting super busy I had to go to the store I had to do a bunch of errands and it just like 12 hours with a tinted moisturizer on and it looks so so good and I have a couple of points that I want to make but before I show you the up close I do want to touch on one thing so before I left the house I had been wearing this for about seven hours I want to say and I did notice a little bit of oily like situation happening on the t-zone it honestly wasn't that bad I did take a napkin and I kind of blotted off just my t-zone and um I lightly pressed like a little tiny bit of powder on top of it. It wasn't anything major. It didn't even really mattify the nose. It just more so um, kind of evened everything back out again. But other than that, I did not touch a thing. And you guys, let's go ahead and look at the up close because I think you are going to be just as shocked as I was because over my cheeks, it still looks so insanely smooth. I am getting a little bit of breakage like around the mouth area, which is very common. And then a tiny, tiny bit of settling up in the Hulk region on my forehead, that little crease up there. But for the most part, I think that this has worn so so beautifully and that's really the entire update I'm just very very impressed as someone who has like somewhat I would say normal ish kind of combo skin oily on the t-zone um, I'm I'm crazy shocked at how well this has worn I think it looks beautiful on the skin over my cheeks I think it looked so beautiful I do think that you will have to set this if you want to blend on top of it and you have like a normal to oily like I do kind of t-zone or like perimeters of your face so something to keep in mind I think you'll definitely have to play around with it but I feel like the mixture of this tinted moisturizer with the lighter pressed powders and my lighter more refined loose powders was absolutely the way to go because it didn't get cakey it didn't get thick it is oh my god it is so beautiful and one more thing I wanted to mention is actually the way that this photographed I was just playing around and like you know taking selfies whatnot like I often do with foundation reviews and I am so so impressed with how this one photographed it looks so nice and so natural but it has this way of sitting on the skin I can't even describe it I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a couple of photos right now just so you guys can kind of take a look at them and I you know they were taken in various lightings whether it was real light fake light fluorescent light what have you because I obviously don't know which ones I'm gonna throw up on the screen but I did take a variety and they are just I'm so impressed with how this looked on the skin Real quick too I do want to interject with the primer which I'm a big big fan like I love the way this side of my face looks so much I feel like it did such an amazing job keeping everything hydrated and plump but I don't think that that primer is overly hydrating and that's something I want to mention because I had a lot of questions going into it. I definitely think it's worth checking out. The spray is beautiful. I'm obsessed with that mister. I will so use it again. And guys, I'm just, I'm, I'm literally blown away at this. Like this is not what I expected. Okay. I expected to put all of this on my face, literally hate it after about three hours, be a big old greasy ball and come on here and tell you guys just that. And I just, I, I'm so impressed. I'll definitely wear it again. But anyways, you guys, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours down below. Like I said, I want to hear from you per usual in the comments. If you haven't checked me out on Instagram and on Twitter, those will both be linked as well down in the description. And of course, the most important thing of all, you can subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel because I do, of course, upload five videos a week. If you missed that, hello, hi, my name is Paige and I upload five videos a week. They go up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. So bright and early reviews. We talk about things I love, things I don't love, things that are good, bad, amazing, ugly, or otherwise indifferent here in the makeup community. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Gotta go to ColourPop, ColourPop.com. ColourPop, ColourPop.com. I'm so excited, <laughs> and I just can't hide it. I'm going to the ColourPop.com. I feel like I need chicken. <laughs> I'm so hungry.
<laughs> like I'm trying to power through, but I literally haven't put anything on my face yet. And I'm so hungry I could die. BRB, gotta go get some chicken. Oh my God, I just said it and my stomach growled all over again. Oh, I'm so hungry. Dad, stop it. Stop it right now. He's doing something in the garage. I do not approve. Shh, be quiet, I'm very busy. So yes, you have to have a lot, like okay. Wow, that was annoying. All right, beautiful people, I am back. I have the rest of my face on and I'm ready to go ahead and give it a good old spritz here with their pretty fresh, pretty fresh, this is their hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic. This is their hyaluronic acid setting spray. Oh my God, I just ate chicken. It was so good. I was so hungry because it was leftovers and I was dreaming about it all day.